can hear you walk it up from our Probably American football and whatever.
demos here. teams to attention now to move into their positions as we get set to go down the way in the first of tonight's double header and both teams coming in as well off the back of their semi-final wins last weekend tight turnaround James Stevens getting the better of Castle Gar of Galway but Clonduff had to go to two periods of extra time against Palmaris and Kerry but eventually getting over the line there by five points in the end still calm conditions so in the middle of the park Isabella O'Hare and Claire McGilligan for predominantly yellow jerseys the Danny champions and that one out for a line ball this time for the Ulster team to be taken by Cassie Fitzpatrick Cassie Fitzpatrick one of a number of players still in the Clondove setup from that win in 2019 and they'll no doubt hope that experience can drive them on here to a second All-Ireland club crown Vanula Carr, the vastly experienced centre half back. 25 years experience now, both club and inter county level as well. Good angle ball across to the far side of the field. And Clondoff trying to keep their forward momentum going here. 
just about managing to get it up as the corner for Paul O'Hagan, another experienced player. Thought about the shot, but instead brings it back out around, and the ball now picked up by the James Stevens midfielder Michelle T. And good work from her, picked up a good position. And James Stevens cleared their lines. Katie Morgan was all on her own there for Clonduff, and eventually the down champions get it away through Carr. That's a good ball. Well picked up and gathered by Sarah Louise Graffin. Graffin now looking to find a first score here. Oh, it hits off the post. And it needs to be cleared by James Stevens. They're just having some trouble in doing so. Emma Gaffney wins the free. Good work there from Sarah Louise Graffin. And the post denying Clondoff the first point of this final. Across to take this line ball is Fanula Carr. Back involved with Clonduff, such an important player over the years. Once on a county level for Down. An All Ireland title with the county back in 2020. That's a good sideline cut down into the James Stevens half once more, but gathered well by Aoife Cantwell. Loose ball forward is rather easily cut out by Clonduff. And good strength from Kira Delaney. Holds off the challenge, gets possession, drives it down the line, but can't keep it on the field of play. So Claire McGilligan with this line ball. And from the Hogan stand side now. Carr drives that one downfield, dangerous ball into the area. Two Clonduff players in there. Possibilities here for Clonduff, perhaps. Defending to do for James Stevens. They snuff out the initial danger. It's with Paul O'Hagan. Comes back around. And the chance goes of egging, but it's still there for Clonduff. Can they get a shot away here? Forced back outside. Now good defending this from James Stevens. And they might just come away with it, the Kilkenny Club. That looks like a foul, and it is. A free in for Clan Well, Michelle Tehan, the guilty party. Coming across on um, Cassie Fitzpatrick there. But the initial long ball in from Fanula Carr causing trouble for James Stevens. They looked exposed. So now the chance from about 47, 48 metres out here for Clonduff to get themselves up and running. It's still inside the opening five minutes. It's Paul O'Hagan. Scored six points, Paul O'Hagan, in the Ulster final win over English. And this time, the connection is good, the accuracy is good, and Clonduff take the lead here. It's Paul O'Hagan from a free. Enjoyed lots of possession so far, Clando. So leading by that point to no score. And James Stevens, manager, watching on. John Scott, supported by one Philly Larkin, amongst others, in his backroom team. Again, Clando in possession. There's an extra body lurking back there for James Stevens. Both players seem to be playing with an extra player in their defence so far. That one's gone out over the sideline again. So Sarah Louise Graffin drives that one across. Good connection once again. And now O'Hagan. Just unable to control that one at the first time of asking. Good defending from Molly Burke, wearing number 19. But then in comes Claire McGilligan. Brilliant block down from Aoife Cantwell. Super defending. As Beth Fitzpatrick tried to get a shot away. And 
that player again, Aoife Cantwell, who comes away with it from that little cluster of players down that left cornerback position, and out it goes for a line ball for James Stevens. Scott now standing over this one. Well controlled by Neil Dealey, such an important player for James Stevens, one of the players with a lot of experience at club and county level. Of course, Sophia Dwyer as well scored that all important goal in the All Ireland final early this year as Kilkenny managed to be Cork here at Crow Park. Here comes the line ball now. Well, hasn't gone to plan initially, at least, but James Stevens have hung on to it. Emma Minogue, another player with county experience, won an All Ireland minor title with Kilkenny. Ball into that uh, full forward line for the first time for James Stevens, but well cleared by Fanula Carr, already very prominent. Line ball this time for James Stevens on the Cusick stand side. And Adahani gets that one in. Now with Orla Gribben getting involved, here's Katie Morgan. And Claire McGilligan sending this one long, but there's that extra player at the back again for James Stevens. It's uh, Hannah Scott this time, who's the plus one at the back, but that's gone out for a clonged offline ball. the 10th minute mark in this opening half. Pretty cagey stuff here. So Hagen drives this one in, but easily cut out by James Stevens. Good hands from Emma Minogue. Sending it forward with real purpose. High challenge. Play continues. Referee lets uh, things continue here. Michelle Tehan. Possibilities here now for James Stevens. So they brought that one forward. Hefty collision in the middle too, but play continues. Cahill McAllister right in there watching. As things develop, and Clonduff do very well indeed to get that one away because they looked exposed as James Stevens came forward. Here's a long ball in. That's great hands as well. Good turn from Sarah Louise Graffin here. Can she finish it off with a score? Sarah Louise Graffin, well, that's a super point from the corner forward. Really good score for Clonduff. They lead by two points to no score in the 10th minute. They caught that ball brilliantly and set herself and put it between the posts. We just have a brief stoppage here. Colin McAllister just going back to reference that high challenge earlier in that passage of play. Looks like Claire Carney here that may have been spoken to. The wing back for Clonduff, and it's a yellow card. The first of the evening, so 10 minutes in. And Claire Carney goes into the book as we see that challenge again. Meantime, puck out is taken, and Clonduff come away with possession. Really purposeful start here from the down at Ulster champions. They've coughed up possession here, and away go James Stevens. Looking for Sophie O'Dwyer, well marshaled thus far. Good defending from Aaron Rafferty. Oh, gets that one away, that's a great ball forward. Van Duff looking really good so far. But this time it's gone over the sideline. James Stevens defended well. Isabella O'Hare forced out off the pitch. straight down the field but gathered rather easily by Clondoff. It's Carr again and the free is eventually awarded for the foul.
lots of excitement in both areas as you can imagine this week building up to this match the week before Christmas as they look to crown off their respective seasons with All-Ireland silverware decent crowd here as well in Crow Park Trantuff undoubtedly the happier team so far Team gets that one away from James Stevens. Can they get themselves off the mark here? Two players inside in that full forward line. One of them is the wing forward, Neve Butler, and gets that one forward here. Scramble defence from Clonduff just about averts the initial danger, but the ball is still there. Who'll come away with it here? And Sophie O'Dwyer in there battling, but that's good defending from Katie Morgan for Clonduff, and she manages to belt that one down the field. That long ball in causing a little bit of trouble for Clonduff. It's still an attacking platform here for James Stevens to try and get themselves off the mark. Neil Dealey, the captain, has made her way across here. line ball not the ideal connection and that allows Clonduff to get onto possession initially but they've failed to bring it away plenty of yellow jerseys there around to surround the ball though and now they've got a good attacking platform here they've got two forwards up ball is in the possession of Isabella O'Hare loose one forward though and that allows the centre half back Aoife Cantwell has played well so far Cantwell Gets that one away under real pressure. Then a big collision in the middle, and it's a free for James Stevens. Kenny Morgan that time. Trying to get in on possession, but illegally so. Can't have got the hand pass away. And it was Michelle Tehan shipping the hit. This is some treatment for Tehan here. Into that 15th minute now of the opening half. Clonduff, two points to nil in front, and the score is coming from Paulo Hagen from a free, and Sarah Louise Graffin as well. Getting a nice point from play. <laughs> Good to see Michelle Tien back on her feet. She'll be okay to continue, hopefully, for James Stevens. Player of real quality at inter county level as well. Sophie O'Dwyer has ball in hand. Just off camera, away to our right hand side, three James Stevens players in around the square. So they're expecting this one to go in all the way from Sophie O'Dwyer right on that halfway line. As I say, no real breeze to speak of here, but cold air. Dwyer has struck that one very well indeed. This would be some score from Sophie O'Dwyer, and she's got it. Well, what a great point to open up James Stevens' account. Brilliant strike from O'Dwyer from all the way out in the middle of the field. And there's a point between the teams. That's a brilliant score. So James Stevens up and running. Can they keep that forward momentum going? Well, they've got possession again. Coming onto that one strongly, then in comes Neve Dealey. And they're met by that cluster of yellow jerseys of Clonduff. Here comes Tien, there's a player in acres of space across on the far side as well. Here's the chance for Neve Dealey. Dealey going to drop this one in. Well gathered and well defended by Clonduff. Better from James Stevens. Good hands there from. Cassie Fitzpatrick hanging on to possession. Comes on to it again now, the wing forward. And has plenty of space in front of her. Morgan now. Nice little death pass short to Sarah Louise Graffin. She's had a go here. This one 
will just creep inside the post. That's another point from the top drawer from Sarah Louise Graffin. What a great strike that is from a very difficult angle. Two points from play for the corner forward, and Clonduff lead by two again. Three points to one. Notice will increase in the intensity now of the exchanges after both teams feeding each other out really over the opening 10 minutes, but it's opening up a little bit now at Crow Park. And this All-Ireland Intermediate Club Championship final. Great work from James Stevens and Hannah Scott then has her attempted clearance blocked down. From Duff claiming that was their line ball, but the official was right there. There's Hannah Scott and Hannah Larkin combining there, winning the ball back for James Stevens. I think Claude Duff thought they might have had a free there as well. So one or two of the players just getting some fluids on board and a brief stoppage here now as some treatment is given to one of the Clon Duff players. Relatively new territory for James Stevens in Camogie. And their first Leinster title, having come through that campaign after winning the intermediate in, in, in Kilkenny, and they'll play in senior for the first time next season. Founded back in 1990. Looks like Orlick Gribben may have to be withdrawn here for Clonduff, the centre half forward. There is a sub being ready down there, but just not quite ready yet. So we'll keep an eye on that one. And here comes that substitution now. And it's the player wearing number 14, Orla McCusker. In for Clondov. Orla Gribben making way. Potentially just a temporary sub. But we'll keep an eye on that one. Here come Clondov again. Long ball driven down again by Fanula Carr. But this time just one player in the yellow jersey of Clondov in that full forward line. Plenty of James Stevens players back there. Well gathered and taken by Anna Dohany. Down the line it goes. Michelle Tehan battles hard. And the whistle sounds. Free for Clonduff. And there's Orla Gribben. Looks likely she may come back in. On the other side of the field now. It's Fanula Carr. Just inside that 65 meter line. Strikes that one, it's going to drop dangerously. Ricochets away, and that's gone out. It'll be a clumped up ball again from the 45. So, good chance here to potentially get their fourth point of this match, Clonduff. Not the chance from the 45, Paul O'Hagan. Fairly central position. One point already from a free four, Paul O'Hagan. Another experienced player in this Clonduff team and sends that one in and over the bar. And Clonduff lead by three points. Work to do for James Stevens, but Clonduff, you would have to say full value for their three-point lead at this stage. They're allowing this puck out go short for James Stevens. Now, Michael Kenny Club send it forward, but that's a loose one. 
And Clondoff attacking with a bit of purpose here now. O'Hagan involved once more. Then the loose ball on the ground, well gathered by Clondoff. Support there. And here comes the chance for another delivery, perhaps, into that full forward line. There's only one player in there, but it is one-on-one. -on -one. That extra defender for James Stevens is lurking on the 45-metre line. In any case, it's swept up by Hannah Scott. And away go James Stevens down the other end. Oh, that one just evaded Michelle Tien as she tried to control it. Loose clearance straight to a player in red and green. But foraging in there forward and Clondoff do very well to come away with it here. And they're running at the heart of that James Stevens defence. Here comes the shot. That's a wonderful score for Clondoff. Really good point. Canick Byrne with the effort. That's a big score you feel for Clondoff because James Stevens had gone down the other end looking for a point to get that little bit closer, but instead Clondoff had another at the other end. That temporary substitution has been reversed now, so Orla Gribben okay to continue and Orla McCusker taken off again for Clondoff. Gribben may have taken a knock to the head, but has been assessed and everything is okay, and she's back on the field of play. James Stevens would love a score or two before half time, just to make their task in that second half a little bit easier. Clondoff have got the line ball. Claire McGilligan. Tries to play that one short, but doesn't quite go to plan. Still there and picked up by Gribbon. Back on the field and battling for possession. It's another line ball. Fanula Carr. Just keeping that one on the field of play. Well directed forward too, but there is that extra defender once again. This time it's Emma Gaffney. Who is a native of Galway, but playing her hurling now in Kilkenny. And it's a free for James Stevens inside their own half. So a chance for them here to clear their lines into the 25th minute here at Crow Park. Clondoff tidy that one up and get it away. Well gathered again by Sarah Louise Graffin. She's been superb so far. Long ball in. She'll be dealt with rather easily by James Stevens. Indeed it is. And away James Stevens go now. Four players up in support here. Extra defender back there for Clondoff, but this one, well, momentarily spilled kindly for Neve Butler. Instead, picked up by Neve Dealey with the attempt here. It's going to drop short, but it might drop favourably, and it's in. It's a goal for James Stevens. And it's Sophie O'Dwyer once again with a big goal at Croke Park. Well, it's spilled very kindly indeed for James Stevens after the shot from Neve Dealey. And Sophie O'Dwyer was there to finish it home. And James Stevens back to within a point here. That's a big score in the 26th minute of this opening half. Well, that totally changes the complexion of the game as we head towards half time. Neither team had really carved open a goal opportunity up until now, but James Stevens have got the goal. Clonduff go in search of an instant response. Or the grip doing well, but that's a free out. The referee spotting the foul. And things just moving in the direction of James Stevens now. What a big score that could be from Sophie O'Dwyer. 
And this is a half that Clonduff have largely dominated. A couple of super points from play from Sarah Louise Graffin. Down the other end, Paul O'Hagan as well on target with a couple of freeze. Ball spills loose. James Stevens energised now by that goal. But Clonduff have come away with it. There's Graffin once more sending it forward. Full back read that one well. Emma Gaffney coming across, but good foraging here from Paul O'Hagan. Just finds her progress halted. Bears diving in on it over there at the corner. Hannah Larkin as well. Emma Minogue is in there. Referee allowing this one to develop. Looks like James Stevens have got the free. Neve Dealey battling for it again for James Stevens. Again, players surrounding the ball. Colin McAllister this time sounds the whistle. So closing stages of the first half here at Crow Park. Entertaining, competitive, and just a point between the teams. Clonduff led by four at one stage, but that Sophie O'Dwyer goal has brought James Stevens right back into it. And here is the aforementioned O'Dwyer sending this one forward and putting James Stevens on the attack once more. Neve Dealey is fouled. And a good opportunity here for James Stevens to level things up. Fanula Carr has picked up a knock in the process. But James Stevens get the free. Let's watch this one again. Carr has picked up the knock. Potentially a clash of knees. A hefty enough collision. Good to see her sitting back up and hopefully will be okay to continue. Michelle Tehan has been in the wars as well. Entertaining stuff this first half. Very closely fought intermediate club final. The senior decider to come later on. Sophie O'Dwyer will take this free once we're able to resume. So Carr back up on her feet and O'Dwyer ready with this free now. Sophie O'Dwyer. Good angle here, and O'Dwyer finds the range. Another point for Sophie O'Dwyer and James Stevens back on level terms here. Well, they've roared back into this match, James Stevens, inspired by that goal from the wing forward. We're going to have two minutes of added time here at the end of the first half. Well, it's another closely fought match. Clontoff, well used to those after that. Uh, Titanic battle last week with Claw Morris of Kerry. They went to two periods of extra time. Real battle for possession on the far side and super work from Hannah Scott initially, but Clonduff have got it back. Long ball forward here. Is there another score in this game before half time? Well, Orla Gribben will hope so for Clonduff. Gribben still going here. Brilliant block down as the Clonduff forward scampers after it. Play continues. Uh, James Stevens trying to get it away. Another block down and it's out eventually for a line ball. A frantic period of play. Watch this wonderful defending for James Stevens. It was the full back Emma Gaffney doing superbly. Ball down the line. And out across the sideline again, this time a Clonduff ball. 
as we head towards the final 30 seconds. Rachel Lahey involved there. As Carr, that's a brilliant connection on that one, all the way into the full forward line here. Just losing the footing at the crucial moment was Orla Gribben. And James Stevens emerged with possession. And the referee has sounded the whistle here. He spotted an infringement. He's got the notebook out as well. Speaking to Paul O'Hagan. Could well be a card here, judging by the referee's demeanor, and it is. Second yellow card for Clonduff. Claire Carney booked earlier in this match. Let's watch it again. Just a little bit on the high side, according to Cahill McAllister. And there is the halftime whistle. Well, it's finally poised at the break here. Clonduff roared into a five points to one lead. But Sophie O'Dwyer inspiring James Stevens back on level terms, including that uh, goal converted from close range at the Hill 16 end. So at halftime here at Crow Park in the All-Ireland Intermediate Club Championship final, it's Clonduff five points, James Stevens won two. We're back with the second half very shortly indeed.
You're welcome back to Crow Park. Almost set to go for the second half here. James Stevens 1-2. Clonduff of down five points in this All-Ireland Intermediate Club Championship final. Sophie O'Dwyer's goal getting James Stevens back into this match. Having trailed at one stage by five points to one. Here come Clonduff. They'll be hopeful of getting themselves back into that position where they were dominating the game, really, it has to be said, leading by five points to one, as I say, at one stage, but conceding the last couple of scores, one of them a goal in that first half. Our referee just making his way out as well, away to our left-hand side. Cahal McAllister from Cork is our official tonight. And his team just back out on the field now as well. The senior decider coming up as well. Later on, Lachiel Shamrocks against Sarsfields. That game live on RT2 television for you. It's Colin McAllister just making sure that everything is in order for the start of the second half. One of his officials making his way down towards the Hill 16 goal before we get back underway. So two points apiece in that first half. Paul O'Hagan and Sarah Louise Graffin. Kelly Byrne also on target. And now, almost set to go. It's Clondoff playing from left to right in the second half in those yellow jerseys. And it is the down champions who get the first touch on the ball in the second half, but... They're smothered by a couple of those James Stevens players. Now it's driven down the field. First ball into that forward line in the second half. Knocked on dangerously. Well picked up and cleared by Aoife Cantwell. And Adani gets a touch and then it's uh, sent downfield once more. Katie Morgan. Attempted clearance is half blocked down. And now the chance for Clonduff to send this one in again. This one has bounced all the way through. It might just work out for Clonduff here. Still there to be one. James Stevens finding it difficult to clear their lines here. Well, Beth Fitzpatrick just unable to get that one up at the first time of asking. That allows James Stevens players to come forward with it. Good hands from Kira Delaney. All the way back there inside in her own defence and that allows James Stevens to clear their lines. Delaney once more. Scrappy start to the second half. Michelle Tehan is fouled. And at the end of all of that, it's a free for James Stevens, just inside their own half. Sophie O'Dwyer come out to take it. She hit a free from a similar distance into the Hill 16 goal in the first half and managed to find the range. So she'll feel that this one is scorable from here. The air, though, is very, very cold. It has got a lot colder inside the last 45 minutes or so here in Crow Park. No wind to speak of here as O'Dwyer steps up. 1-2 in the first half for O'Dwyer. This one will drop short. Flicked on and eventually cleared by Clonduff. Spilled dangerously inside in that uh, square. Still there for James Stevens, and the shot comes in. Good connection on it, but the required accuracy isn't there from Cueva Moore, who's in for the second half. That's the first wide of the second half for the village. A 
That's a good puck out from Katie McGilligan. Looked to have favoured Claire Carney there, but James Stevens have done well to get in around possession. Beth Fitzpatrick now driving forward. That's a good ball in and lots of space here for Clonduff to work in. Here comes the shot. This should be a score, and it is a score. Good build-up play from Clonduff. And they get the opening point of this second half. It's come from the corner forward, Paul O'Hagan. Her third point of the match. Nice score for the experienced corner forward. That's her first from play. And Clonduff take the lead again. Can they pat it out once more? They did so in the first half, chipping away at the scoreboard before conceding that all-important goal to Sophie O'Dwyer. James Stevens bringing it forward. Nuna Carr comes across and intervenes at the expense of a line ball. Emily Smith has made her way across to take this one, just inside that 45 metre line. Doesn't connect with that one at all well and out of goals. So a let off for Clonduff. The down champions had a comprehensive win in their county final. Then coming through the Ulster campaign as well. They've been no stranger to the latter stages of the championship in recent seasons and hoping to make that experience count here at Crow Park. But met by a youthful James Stevens team. Very little to choose between the sides so far as Carr, again with a wonderful connection and good hands for Clonduff here to keep this moving forward. Sarah Louise Graffin, sister of Carr, plays that one forward just doesn't quite come off for Clonduff and James Stevens have it through Tehan but in goes Graffin once more this time trying to win a turnover and Clonduff have got it back that's really good work from the down champions back outside it comes here's Cassie Fitzpatrick now has a side of goal but it drives down the heart of that defence still Fitzpatrick and hold down it's a free super play from Clonduff Cassie Fitzpatrick wins the free. Very scorable one too on the 21 metre line. Yellow card flashed as well in the direction of Aoife Cantwell it looks like. And here's that foul again. Looks like Hannah Larkin with the final challenge. So here's the free. Paul O'Hagan. O'Hagan will pop those over all evening long. And Clonduff lead by two points. Good start to the second half for the Ulster champs. They've got another substitution happening right now. It looks like the corner back making way. Naomi Murray. as the puck out goes long from James Stevens, Three Clonduff players around it, but James Stevens battling hard to win it. Referee again, Colin McAllister in there. A close quarters watching it develop, allows it to develop, and eventually free goes away. James Stevens with Emma Minogue fouled. Isabella O'Hare involved for Clonduff. Dwyer coming out again. So here's the free, just outside that 65 metre line. But with that cold air, the ball not really travelling. 
on this Saturday evening, but that's a really good connection. It'll have the distance, and it looks like it has the accuracy too. Super score again from Sophie O'Dwyer. And that just keeps James Stevens taking over here. They trail by a point. Sophie O'Dwyer almost single-handedly carrying the fight to Clonduff here. Goal and three for the wing forward, and James Stevens trailed by a point. That's a brilliant puck out all the way down the field for Clonduff. It'll spill kindly too for Paul O'Hagan. In fact, that's Sarah Louise Graffin. Graffin's still going and pops it over the bar. Another good score. And the experienced corner forwards, Paul O'Hagan and Sarah Louise Graffin, showing all their worth for Clonduff here so far. Two points for Graffin, four for O'Hagan. And Clonduff in a good position here. But still a long way to go. Long ball down. No one there in a red and green shirt for James Stevens. Fanula Carr, very assured at the back as always for Club and County. Gets that one down the field. Again, good work from Sarah Louise Graffin. Then a big collision again in the middle of the park. Isabella O'Hare holds on to possession. This is good play from Clonduff. Scampering across into the corner is Paul O'Hagan. Will she get a shot away? She will. How's it for accuracy? Just off target this time. Things just opening up though for Clonduff. And they do look dangerous when they get that ball into the full forward line. There was a the challenge in the middle of the field. Good puck out. Retained by James Stevens. Good build up play, too. They've got runners off the shoulder, left and right, and one of them in a lot of space was the midfielder. Sophie O'Dwyer, though, tries to hang on to it, then eventually crowded out, and away come Clonduff for Calic Byrne. Long ball down, lots of space opening up now for Clonduff in that attacking third. Lovely spin from Orla Gribben. Determined defending, though, from Emma Gaffney. Really good exchange here between both teams, and eventually just a little bit too robust in the challenge on the part of the James Stevens defender. Eva Cantwell and Emma Gaffney coming in, and it was Gaffney with the foul on Sarah Louise Graffin, and it's a free in. Here comes the card. Emma Gaffney into the book. So a chance now to extend the lead to three points here for Clandov. O'Hagan with the opportunity. There's the angle, super shot of what lies ahead of the corner forward. Strikes that one well and puts it between the poles. And Paul O'Hagan puts Clandov three points in front, nine points to one three. Into the 42nd minute here at Crow Park. And Really good start to the second half from Clonduff. Halftime probably came at a good time for the down club because they lost a bit of momentum in the closing stages of that first half. Eve Dealey doing well for James Stevens. Nice ball down the line. Quiva Moore looked favoured to win that ball, but then Clonduff get players back in there. Good defending from Beth Fitzpatrick, who scored some key goals in this campaign for Clondove so far, but showing her defensive medal there, and then brilliant clearance from Fanula Carr. This will set Clondove on the attack again. Cassie Fitzpatrick, angle ball, really good play this from Clondove. Can they make a count? James Stevens defending diligently. Cassie Fitzpatrick still in space here in front of us in the Cusick and. Gets possession. Ambitious effort here. This one will bounce dangerously. Paul dangerously 
inside in that uh, goal mouth area, eventually to the right and wide. So a let off for James Stevens. Lucy McGrath sending this one out to the Cusick stand side. Played forward now by Anna Dohany. Easily gathered, however, by Beth Fitzpatrick, who was back in a deeper position this time. That's a ball forward straight, though, to the James Stevens wing back, Hannah Scott. Another battle for a loose ball in the middle. It's gathered by Sarah Louise Graffin. Gets that one over the right shoulder. Two on one inside in the full forward line. And James Stevens should come out on top as the goalkeeper, Lucy McGrath, also gets involved. Good hands from Emily Smith for James Stevens, but John Duff have looked very solid at the back too. This time again, winning it back and sending it forward, but again, too many red and green shirts there. Through the car, just unable to control it at the first time of asking, and in to pick it up is Rachel Lahi. Lahi driving forward and winning a free. Well, that's better from James Stevens as we head towards the final quarter here. Lie doing well, having picked up the loose ball off the turf and winning your side of free, a chance to eat into that deficit here. Sophie O'Dwyer. Here comes the effort from the wing forward. Looks happy with it and splits the post once again. Well, Sophie Dwyer is having a fantastic evening here at Crow Park. Another point for her, another point for James Stevens, and they trim the deficit to two. Still all to play for in this All Ireland Intermediate Club Camogie final. Clondoff of down, leading James Stevens of Kilkenny by nine points to one four as we head into the final quarter. Just asking a little much there of Orla Gribben, unable to keep it on the field of play. Line ball for James Stevens. Hannah Scott coming across to take this one. Clondoff still playing with that plus one at the back. So too are James Stevens. You wonder, might they push that player on, James Stevens, if they're still trailing? into the closing 10 minutes. The game finally poised as Rachel Lahi wins a free again for her team. And this just might be within range for Sophie O'Dwyer once more. Well, in comes Clara Cowan for Clonduff, another vastly experienced player. She's in for the closing stages here. Looks like Orla Gribben making way. The centre half forward. So, Sophie O'Dwyer with this attempt from underneath the Cusick stand. That looks just off target from our vantage point and it falls short in any case. Fanula Karen able to control it at the first time of asking it. James Stevens have still got it. They've got an attempt here and they've got a point as well. Well, James Stevens back to within a single score. Neve Dealey. As this one came back out in the centre half forward and captain providing the point. And once again, it's a single score game at Crow Park. Both teams enjoying periods of dominance, but very little to choose between them, and that's a good intervention from Kira Delaney all the way back in her own half. Then Clonduff win it back, all very tight down that middle channel. Still with Clonduff. And now Eva Cantwell for James Stevens. Oh, and she's been called for overcarrying. Good defending, good work from Clonduff high up the park. 
And a chance to instantly respond to that daily point at the other end here. So Paul O'Hagan has the chance just inside that 45 meter line. You feel this is a big effort and an important stage in the game. Just to pad that lead out again. That familiar low trajectory. Doing the business once more, Paul O'Hagan. With another point for Clonduff. Our sixth of the evening. And they lead by 10 points to 1-5. Now two points the lead. 12 minutes of normal time left to play. They've got possession again. It's Bet Fitzpatrick driving down the Hogan stand side. Now can she finish it off with a score? It's going to drop short. And Lucy McGrath gets the first touch on it, but then met by the challenge. Still there for Clonduff. Back outside to Fitzpatrick. Good tackle initially from Emma Gaffney. Emma Minogue in there as well for James Stevens. And Minogue gets down on the ball and wins the free. Good defending. And away James Stevens go, but they need to get players forward here. They've got the ball forward. But still looking to get some players forward here and support. There's only one player inside the 45 meter line in the Clonduff half for James Stevens. And the ball then is held up on the 65 meter line. Cassie Fitzpatrick now, space in front of her, launching this one in. Angle ball looking for the run of the inside forward. McCusker. Then it falls to Paul O'Hagan. She'd have a go from here, you feel, if she can work a yard or two. Force back outside. Beth Fitzpatrick. Sensible play here from Clonduff, trying to work the opportunity. Now they might get a chance to get a shot away here just from the edge of the exclusion zone. And in it goes and over the bar. That's a big score for Clonduff. They worked it brilliantly. And Isabella O'Hare, the midfielder, saw the opportunity and finds the range. Three points the lead once again as we head into the final 10 minutes. Great take in the centre of the park by Sarah Louise Graffin, driving it into the full forward line again. O'Hagan is in there, and she somehow managed to get the ball. That's wonderful work from the corner forward. Can she get the score? This one has gone to the right and wide. Just under pressure as she struck that one, Paul O'Hagan. Looks like Neve Dealey down receiving some attention for James Stevens. Well, they had got themselves back to within a point, but Clonduff, to their credit, have responded really well, using that experience that they have. Give Dealey back on her feet, okay, to continue. Clondoff in the ascendancy. Dealey picks up the puck out too. Met by the challenge and wins the free. Clondoff not particularly pleased with that decision. That allows James Stevens just to get their shape. Now Dealey making her way forward. Five, six players making their way up inside and at 45 meter line. They need scores and they need them quickly, James Stevens. Hannah Scott with this free now. Down the sideline it goes. Plenty of James Stevens bodies in around it. They should. He favours to come away with possession, but Clondoff very industrious in the challenge. Then they commit the foul, and it's a free for James Stevens. And this is a chance for Sophie O'Dwyer, you feel. 
They need a score. Colin McAllister, our referee, just explaining the decision, but there's Sophie O'Dwyer. Virtually on the sideline. It's a very difficult angle, but given the form she's been in so far, you would not put a past her to find the range from here. Here comes the effort. O'Dwyer, this is going to fall short. And Clonduff have to try and defend it here. James Stevens have got it. Then they lose it and Clonduff get it away. It's come back outside to O'Dwyer. Here's Dealey almost getting on it, but O'Dwyer then scampering back after it. Tee and then beaten to it and Clonduff come away with possession. Sarah Louise Graffin, now you feel a score from this attack would be a big one in the context of this match. It's still Graffin. Can she finish it here? It's going to bounce short. It might bounce favourably for Clonduff, but James Stevens just get enough bodies back there. Still there for Clonduff. Frantic defending here, but James Stevens unable to clear their lines. Now they get it away with Hannah Scott doing well. And now forward towards Dealey. Met by the challenge of Claire McGilligan. No one able to get control of it right now, and it's fallen kindly for Sophie O'Dwyer. Her ball through is cut out by Clonduff. Good defending from Claire Carney. And now Clonduff looking for a free here. Sarah Louise Graffin thought she was fouled. And so too do the Clonduff supporters and management, but it's a line ball at the end of all of that for James Stevens. The Clonduff management just uh, offering their opinion of the situation. Happened right in front of them there on the far side. So much on the line for both of these clubs now over the next 10 minutes or so. We've got just over five minutes of normal time left to play. Clonduff 11 points, James Stevens 1-5. Line ball is taken. And another scramble for possession. This time the referee sounds the whistle. Ball is thrown in. And away we go again. Frantic exchanges here. It's become very scrappy in the last couple of moments, but James Stevens have emerged with possession. Forward they go. They had the advantage there, and they've got the free. Emma Minogue was involved, and the referee sounding the whistle. So a chance for Sophie O'Dwyer. Feel like they need this score, James Stevens. Sides were level at half time. Remember, five points to one two as O'Dwyer sends this one goalward, but off target this time. Relief for Clonduff, and they can see that finish line now coming into sight. Four minutes of normal time left to play. Well, champions three years ago, Clonduff, can they get back into that winner's enclosure? Here the down champions go again. Clara Cowan, one of the players that won that title a couple of years ago, gets involved, but this one should be gathered pretty easily, and is. Emma Gaffney has had a good game at full-back. Hannah Scott, also very prominent for James Stevens here. This youthful side from Kilkenny giving it their all in the closing stage. They've got a free. Emma Minogue right in the centre of the field over on this left-hand side. No free, says the referee. Play continues. Again, players diving in around the ball. That's Sophie O'Dwyer who does well. Plays it back outside to Neil Dealey. Ambitious effort here from Dealey. It's going to drop dangerously. Batted away, but it's out to O'Dwyer. Oh, it's just past the post. Was that the chance? 
for James Stevens. Sophie O'Dwyer coming in on the end of it. When it came out to the player in form, she connected well with a two, but just to the right and wide. Is that the chance for James Stevens? Well, they'll hope not. Plenty of time left to go, and they've got possession back again. Minogue driving it downfield. Good defending from Claire Carney. Really good work down in that left-hand corner, and that's a good ball forward as well. Calic Byrne, one point already, coming inside, and tries to thread a ball through, looking for Orla McCusker in on the edge of the square. Emma Gaffney, the full-back, doing well for James Stevens. Dealey, wasting little time in getting that one forward. Very resolute defending from Clonduff. 90 seconds of normal time left to play. We've had a stoppage or two in the second half, so it'll be interesting to see what out of time we have here. But James Stevens getting into that uh, territory where they need a goal. Minogue drives onto possession and hand passes that one across. It just opened up there for a moment for Neve Daly, the captain. Goes to ground and the ball spills loose again. Fanula Carr in there for Clonduff, trying to get it up off the turf. And the referee has given a free in. It's a free for James Stevens. And he's going to bring it in too. So, a chance for James Stevens. Do they go to, for goal here? Well, the player is still getting involved. Cahill McAllister was right in beside it. And I think he's going to speak with Sophie O'Dwyer, it looks like. But it is a free in for James Stevens, but O'Dwyer has picked up a yellow card. Now, will the free be reversed? And it could well be here. And it looks like it's going to be a throw ball, it is, so... That's a big decision for Clonduff here as we enter out of time. Players just uh, getting involved after the decision was made and it's a throw ball at the end of it all. Another sub being introduced, James Stevens bringing on Tara Maguire, wearing number 16 as the ball is thrown in. We're going to have three minutes of added time. So James Stevens need a goal here and now they've got the free. Again, Clonduff protesting at that decision, but it's a free for James Stevens and Sophie O'Dwyer wants to take it quickly and just to perhaps put it over the bar here. You can see the collection of Clonduff players. They're being told to make their way back to that 13-meter line. Just making a little bit of a wall there in front of Sophie O'Dwyer as she sizes up the angle. So here comes O'Dwyer, drives it low, just over the crossbar. It's another point for Sophie O'Dwyer and James Stevens. So they trail by two. 90 seconds of the three minutes left to play. Tense moments in Crow Park. Here's O'Dwyer's effort again. Always rising over the crossbar. She's had a brilliant match, Sophie O'Dwyer. That goal in the first half, the all-important score. But right now her team trails by two points in this All-Ireland Intermediate Club Camogie final. Clonduff have possession in the right area of the field into the final minute of added time. Can they hang on and clinch another historic victory at GA headquarters? Line ball will be taken by Paul O'Hagan. Another sub in for Clonduff. Looks like Amy Morgan. 
wearing number 23 in for the closing moments here at Crow Park. We've had a fair few stoppages in at a time here. Here's the line ball, driven down the line. Gathered by Emma Gaffney, but James Stevens need to get the ball down the other end of the field. Instead, they've given it to Sarah Louise Graffin. She's had a fine match. Can Clonduff get the insurance points here? They might just get it here. That looks good, and it's over. It's Katie Morgan for Clonduff, and surely now they've got themselves over the line here at Crow Park. They lead by three once again. The wing back Katie Morgan with a fine score and Clonduff can see the finish line now. And another All-Ireland Intermediate crown as James Stevens have it with Aoife Cantwell. Down the line it goes, the three minutes have elapsed of added time. Referee takes a glance at the watch. Have Clonduff done enough? And they've got a line ball here. It's so been a really good second half performance for Klandov. Fanula Carr with this line ball. And there indeed is the full time whistle. And Klandov have done it again. They're the All Ireland Intermediate Club Komogi champions. A real struggle here with James Stevens in an entertaining and competitive final. But it's the Down and Ulster champions who do enough. And they are the All-Ireland Intermediate champions once again. Superb performances all around the park. Fanula Carr showing all her experience. Paul O'Hagan, Sarah Louise Graffin as well. James Stevens battled hard. They'll play senior Camogie in Kilkenny next season for the first time. But today is Clondos Day. They are the champions. And it's celebration time for them at Croke Park. A proud day for all the players and their families, and indeed the club, in the week before Christmas, as they scale the heights again. Disappointment for Sophie O'Dwyer and James Stevens O'Dwyer had a brilliant match and almost brought her side to All-Ireland glory. Better days lie ahead for James Stevens, a young team who no doubt will have a big say in Kilkenny in the years ahead, but Clondoff, the champions once again. And they will lift the cup in a couple of moments' time. Jenna Bowden, their captain, the fullback, set to climb the steps of the Hogan stand. Clondoff, to be fair to them, put in a brilliant second half performance. They were rocked by the concession of that goal to Sophie O'Dwyer in that first half after they had established a five points to one lead. But really composed stuff from the Down and Ulster champions in the second 30 minutes. And they are deserving winners here at Crow Park. As they savour the plaudits and get ready now to lift the cup. On Duff's day in Crow Park, and we'll have the presentation very shortly indeed. The senior final, remember, coming up very shortly as well. Half past six throw in for that one. Sarsfields of Galway against Lockheed Shamrocks of Antrim. That game is live on RTE2 television. 
the players make their way over now to the Hogan stand and the Agnes O'Farrelly Cup will be presented to Clonduff very shortly indeed. There is Jenna Bowden, the Clonduff captain, getting ready to accept the trophy and receiving the plaudits from the president of the Camogie Association, Hilda Breslin. Jenna Bowden lifts the trophy aloft and Clonduff, the All-Ireland Intermediate Club Camogie Champions for 2022.